This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to simulate the effect of brush pressure that you got using a tablet, uh, using the pen tool to create curves. So we're not drawing freehand, we're actually drawing drawing curves. So let me show you how this works. Right, so the basis of uh, what we're doing here is we want to be able to, when we're drawing, we want to be able to show different thin and thicker strokes depending how fast we would supposedly be drawing. Of course you can only do this with a tablet. And the way that we do this is by just going to Window, Brushes, making sure we have our, you know, a brush tool here selected, and making sure that in Shape Dynamics, it's ticked here, Shape Dynamics, and we have the pen pressure here selected. So Shape Dynamics and Pressure is what you need here and of course if you go here into brush tip shape you can select different brushes there are different ones that give you different effects I tend to like this uh, painterly looking one so we're going to use that for this one and uh, the way we can do this is um, we go here into our pen tool and uh, using the pen tool um, if you've never used the pen tool much before to actually create some curves the way that you do this is you're going to make your first point but you have to think about what it is that you want to make so for example I want to make a stroke that goes like this, right? So slightly curvy, sort of like the uh, what the brush here what shows something like this, right? So the way that we do this is we make our first point, but we have to make uh, to to pay attention to where we want the next point to be. So we just want to move. We want to click, and then we want to drag without letting go, and we want to drag to sort of like the motion of where we want the next point to be, which will be like further around over here. But we want to move it upwards, right, to get that curve like this. So we want to uh, make sure that we are clicking and dragging and moving it up, sort of like a 45 degree angle, right? Like that. Now we want to make sure that we're going to make sure that our curve is moving up this way. That's what that point here is, is signifying. And then we're going to move it down to about here. So I'm going to click and also drag as well and make sure that we're creating that sort of nice curve there. Okay. Now I'm going to let go. And now, of course, it's going to be moving down this way. So it's probably going to make a curve here and probably end, say, here. So I'm going to click, not let go, but drag. And as you can see, we're making that curve right there. So that looks like a pretty nice curve. Okay. Now, if you need to move any of these points, what you can do is just to hold down the control button. And you can see that your mouse cursor uh, changes. And with that, you can click and then drag that point over so you can move it up and down and you can uh, you know adjust your uh, your curve so I'd say somewhere like that is uh, pretty good so like that I like that curve there so I'm gonna let that go and uh, what we can do now is use that uh, shape dynamics that we've learned before so I'm just gonna add a new layer here go into paths if you don't have that open window and paths and now all we need to make that stroke seem like you were using a pen tool is to right click on your path, stroke path, make sure it's on brush and simulate pressure, click OK and unview by clicking around here. And there you are. So you have that really nice curve right there and it seems like you did it with the pen tool, with a with a tablet. Now what you can also do to this is actually just start using your imagination a little bit more and um, use some effects to this. So let's uh, go into effects here and for example let's use outer glow for this. And with outer glow we can get a bit of a nice glow outside here. So let's increase the size of this glow. Something like that. Look at that. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to click OK here and we have a nice glowing flowing stroke for example. So there we are. So that's how we do things with the pen tool. You can create things by you know creating the curves and then going into your uh, paths make sure you're on a separate layer always go into your paths right click stroke path click OK and you get you're starting to get really nice uh, effects that you can use later on so there you are if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you